Hello everyone, Taki here. If you saw my last video, you know that the Win3 currently has the most powerful processor in this generation of Windows handhelds, but that power doesn't really show off that well when we're playing PC games. There is actually one area where there is little contest between AMD and Intel, and that's in emulation, where raw power is valued more than driver optimizations. With the exception of one system, the Win3 is currently the best all-around device for emulation. It's also in this area where design choices, like a small screen, make almost no difference since you won't be dealing with very small text in games. In this video, we're going to examine that claim by reviewing emulation performance across a selection of titles. If you want to know the names of any of the games that I tested in this video, feel free to take a look at the pinned comment for the full list. First up, let's take a look at PSP with 3x native resolution and uncapped TDP. Now let's move over to 3DS, and I have to say that I was really impressed with the performance of this system in particular because it handles games like a champ. The system also powers through a lot of these games using very little power. The footage that you're watching now is set to 3x native resolution to fill out that 720p screen. The only issue with 3DS is that you get some stutters while the game is building up a cache, but these are only momentary stutters as you'll see in this section. Switch should also run very well on this chip, but I ran into some crashes on all of my game tests that I wasn't able to solve while filming. Next up, let's take a look at GameCube and the Wii. The games are running at 2x native resolution with the widescreen hack in the Dolphin emulator.
drown him in the sands. But I will tell you a different tale. I will tell you the truth. I can't believe I trusted you, Genie. Besides 3DS, PS2 was another system that really impressed me on this device and that's largely due to how well it can run games at 2x native resolution with the safe emulation preset. The real wow moment was when I went to play Ratchet & Clank. I just tested this game a few weeks ago on the Aya Neo so I have a good frame of reference for how this game should perform and I can tell you that this device runs circles around what the Aya Neo can do thanks to that beefy CPU. I'll let the rest of the footage from this game speak for itself. Even though that game ran very well, there are still PS2 games in this library that require more power to run with the settings that I've used in this test, so don't assume that you can play the entire library of PS2 games. It's the top Hold your horses, granddad. I am not your granddad. And if but that I mentioned at the beginning of this video that there is one system that runs worse on Intel and this is it. Performance is actually very good with CMU when you've built up a shader cache as you can see on screen now. We're almost running the game at a full 60 FPS at 720p resolution, but the problem is that this system suffers from very long periods of lag anytime you go into an area where you haven't built up a shader cache yet, making this an impractical option for Wii U emulation. This is an issue across this platform. When we move over to Xbox 360 emulation, we're gonna be limited to some easy to run Xbox Live Arcade games, but these are games that you won't be able to emulate on the 4500U at all, even if they have native PC ports. If we take this Minecraft port for example, the Win 3 almost has a 10 FPS lead over the Neo at the same TDP. What do you do? No. Some this is also a good time to talk about heat since this Diablo 3 game can push the system to 100C, but it doesn't really feel any different from normal operation.
Finally, let's take a look at PS3. PlayStation 3 emulation takes a ton of power to run well, but this chip can play many games. The TDP is capped at 30 watt, and you will see that we will be right on the line for some of the games in this footage. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this look at emulation on the Win 3. If you like what you saw here, let me know down below and consider taking a look at another video on screen now. Happy gaming everyone, Taki out.